might be able to help us. When was the last time you were in contact with your father? What is this? It appears he is critical to the development of a super weapon. If my father built this thing, we need to find him. All right. How many do I need? They are requesting a call sign. It's, um, Rogue. Rogue One. Uh, so what felt most unique to you about this project? Um, I think it was interesting when, uh, I mean, even though it's Star Wars, but it was interesting when the director, Gareth, was talking to me about wanting to do a movie that, like, really displayed war in a kind of real, visceral, reality-based way. I think that, that that is, you know, difference, the style of it, some of the handheld camera work that's inside of it. All these different things are different than the kind of Star Wars visual structure that we were used to and stuff. So now in Star Wars, we can join another star uh, because in these movies we had Harrison Ford, Alec Guinness, uh, Max von Sydow, some of the best. How do you prepare for this challenge? I just started working on understanding the character through looking at the, the Clone Wars videos and stuff, trying to understand, you know, because he did exist in that animated world already, and look at his backstory, start to like create memories for myself, start to create like pains and things in my body from different wars and battles and figure out how, what scars he would have, you know, and then start to put that into the character and all those kind of things. Uh, do you think uh, Rogue One relate to our actual war? What's happening in real life and how does it relate? Um, I think it definitely deals with like places that are, you know, under battle or in oppression, you know, and people trying to fight for freedom, you know. Uh, wherever it may be, and we've seen these conflicts you know, going on all over the world right now, and, and this is something that makes us have to look at it. But I think more importantly, like you show a character who's like trying to find herself, and ultimately like finds what she believes in life, and decides that she wants to fight for that. And I think that's a great message. It's important for people. That's what people are doing around the world. I've read uh, you have a 360 degrees uh, set. How is working with a set like that? Um, yeah, I guess I didn't really think about it much. I, 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 it was that they could go all around. I mean, because when I'm acting, I'm already acting in, I guess, 360 degrees. I'm just being completely the person. So as long as I'm just going to continue doing that, whatever he would be doing, or, and you know, whether the camera is behind me, in front of me, or the camera's not on me, it doesn't really matter. I'm still going to be just living in that space. Stay in character all yeah, the time. Yeah, pretty much. And what's the best of playing your character for you? Um, I, 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 I liked him a lot, you know. I, 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 I thought Sagarero was, was a, an interesting philosopher in some, a lot of ways. His philosophies on universal life and stuff, and so that was one. Really interesting character because you are not, you are a good guy, but you're not really that good. You have some grace on you, on your character. Yeah, he definitely lives in the gray area a lot. I mean, he's a, he's a rebel fighting for freedom, you know, um, but he's willing to do whatever it takes, you know, to make sure that they win this war with the means that he has because he doesn't have a lot of means. He doesn't have the same means that the Empire has. He doesn't have thousands and thousands of stormtroopers and stuff. He says himself in a small ragtag group of militia who are, are guerrilla fighters that are willing to hand over their lives. There's something, I think she says something about one man with a pointed stick can make the difference in the end yes. of, a, of a battle who wins or loses. And I think that's, that's the philosophy that he has. That's, that's when she quotes my character at the end of the movie. I have no idea we're coming. Take hold of this moment. The force is strong. Make ten men feel like a hundred. We'll take the next chance. And the next. You're all rebels, aren't you?